YouTube Beauty World. It's Jody here with my Mac haul. So most of what I got today, um, just so that you guys know, is over two trips to Mac. I went a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't share it with you because I knew I was going to be going back and back today for the wash and dry event, which I did. I had a great time. I got a bit of a makeover. Okay, so first off, I will go through the things that I got from the washed and dry event because that being the most current and the limited edition, that's probably what most people want to see. So one of the things I got was I got one of the lipsticks. Now I just got one, and I got one that was not part of the regular collection. I got the um, Tumble Dry. So on some people I've heard, I love the bullet casing on this. That was part of the reason I wanted it so much. But I've heard a lot of people say that this plays off really quite orange on them. It is really, it's a very apricot kind of orange color. Um, the next thing I got, I had to get one of these, and it's the MAC Highlighting Powder. They call it Freshen Up. Um, I've heard that this is pretty much the first thing that sold out on the website. It is one of their most popular items. It was sold out in store, but because I knew I was coming in, I had the girls hold one for me. So it goes from the dark to medium to light. Um, the packaging on it is amazing. Just note that uh, this lovely, beautiful gold shimmer that's over top is actually a spray. So once you start using it a couple times, it will come be less shiny and golden. I'm really happy with this. I know a lot of people have been ho-hum about the wash and dry uh, sets. So far, everything that I've gotten, I've really, really liked. Um, and the last thing I got is I got one of the split fiber brushes. And I got the 126. So the big fluffy one, and this thing is going to be a heck of a lot of fun. So the dark side is all natural fibers, and this side is the synthetic. Um, we played with this for my contour so she could show me how to dip your brush in this way and contour that way, allowing the synthetics to actually create the cut on the side and then the natural fibers to just, as you're applying, to naturally brush it out, uh, blend it out, sorry. Uh, this is going to be really interesting to work with. I've never used anything like this at all, so it's going to be a new game. But it is so, so soft. It is so, so soft. Both sides. doesn't matter which one. So I think it will be a lot of fun. Okay, so one of the first things I got was actually on my first trip. Uh, I went and I got uh, this guy. I love it. It is my, um, what do they call it, the 15 Warm Neutral Pack. Uh, there's absolutely not a shadow in here that you can go wrong with. Um, if you guys would like, let me know down below and I will do a swatch. I've been using the whole palette or bits and pieces with some of my other shadows pretty much every day since I got this two weeks ago. I am so glad I picked this up. One of the best purchases I've made in a long time. Okay, so also when I got my um, Warm Neutrals palette when I was there, I did pick up the MAC Giga, Giga Black Lash Mascara. This stuff is amazing. It is the best lower lash mascara I've ever seen in my entire life. And to be quite honest with you, I know a lot of people don't use it for their upper lashes. I love it on my upper lashes. It's not what I have on today, but I really, really like it. It's awesome. I think it will probably be my all-time favorite mascara. Not sure, but it's lean in that way. Um, the next couple things I got, I got three lip products. So I got one liner and two lipsticks. Um, you guys can see my lips right now. I'm pretty sure just about anyone who's ever known MAC lipsticks and has been around since basically the dawn of time could probably figure out what I have on there. It's heroin. So for heroin, I got both because I didn't have a liner that could work with a purple this extreme. Um, I did pick up the heroin lip liner. And I can put that on. So it looks just like that. And then I picked up actually the lipstick. Um, when I went in, we tried a couple different lipsticks. Uh, this is one of the ones that it was the third one we tried on me. And I just loved it. So there's the liner, there's the lipstick. If you want to see what the two look combined, that is what I'm wearing today. And I pretty much love it. It's really cool. It's kind of outside of my comfort zone. I'm really glad I did it. Um, the last thing that I got from MAC is Girl About Town. Now once again, this is not part of the wash and dry series. This is just one of their basic lipsticks. 
It's a very bright pink, but it's got a strong purple backing to it. Um, I have a hard time with my skin tone wearing any bright pinks, but this one seems to work, so it's a little bit exciting. And that's it right there. Okay guys, well that's it. We've seen my whole haul. It wasn't very huge as far as some of the MAC hauls I've seen out there, but trust me, my wallet is, is totally fine with the amount that I got. It's probably fairly uncomfortable with the amount that I got. Um, if there's any of these items that I've swatched with my, my gang symbols there, gang colors going on, if there's anything that you guys saw, you want a review on, you guys know I do a full week usage on anything. Uh, before I review it if you want swatches of those eyeshadows if you want to see um, a little bit more detail using the freshen up highlighter slash blush slash I don't, I don't know what you want to call it <laughs> it's not really solely a highlighter it's not really solely a blush but it's kind of a neat product uh, just let me know down in the comments below as always guys if you enjoyed my video give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for stopping by I will see you all next time